Hello, welcome back to another episode of The Vampire Vet, and Rodney has just finished his first day of work, and it's already midnight. <laughs> he's probably going to be working some strange hours because he's a vet, he doesn't like going out during the day, so uh, it doesn't mean I won't take him out during the day, but yeah, basically this episode is right after uh, the last episode, so there's no kind of uh, recap of what you missed in between episodes. But uh, because it's the end of his day, and because he's a little bit hungry, he needs to go out and find something to eat. So, <laughs> let's have a little scan around the neighborhood to see if there's something to eat. Hmm. Can't see anyone yet. Nope, actually, it, it, the whole neighborhood looks uh, empty at the moment, which isn't very good. So Rodney will have to go somewhere else for his food. So where should we take him? How about we just visit a random world? Anyway, let's let's see which one I choose. So Rodney decided to visit uh, San Mashuno's Spice District or Spice Market, whatever it's called, and he's just having a look around to see if he can find something nice to eat. And uh, since he's a vampire. That means someone nice. Uh, he's just zooming around. It looks like he's decided to put his hands straight into this uh, item. Very strange. I think he's fixing it, but I'm, I'm not entirely sure. I don't know if he has very much in the way of handiness skill. Let's have a look. So he's very um, he's very knowledgeable about. The vampire law, and his his painting is very high. His charisma is high. Oh, his, his handiness is also high. I didn't realize. But yeah, that's cool. So probably the longer he waits around here, someone will turn up. Um, but I'm not seeing anyone yet. It's like the streets are completely empty. Oh, I think I just saw someone walk by. Who's that? Aha! Uh -huh. It's actually the mailman. Uh, someone, yeah, Pedro Goldstein. Let's quickly go and have a bite to eat. <laughs> right. We have to get used to this, because this is what it's going to be like <laughs> with every episode. Um, he's not massively hungry, but I think a small drink would be too much. So let's compel for a deep drink. Just because we can. Hopefully he doesn't disappear. No, he didn't. Good. Uh, hopefully there's no one standing around watching. Doesn't look like it. So he's going to get a free meal. Looks like Rodney's enjoying it. Other chat, not so much. <laughs> oh, oh. I don't know if you can hear that, but pretty gross. <laughs> it's like this kind of sucking noise. So it's kind of taken a lot out of him. Oh look! So, um, a default vampire in the game, Caleb Vittori, has come along and he's greeting him. So that's, uh, Brighten his day. What was he doing? Gossip about ancient vampires. Interesting. Ask him about his day. How about um, what other socials can we do? Oops, he's already gone. Okay, fine. Well, it's time for Ronnie to go home. Right, so now we're back home, and what's going on at home? So Tyree is a little hungry, but that's about it. And it's like two o'clock at night, so uh, I think I, he can just go straight to bed. Uh, where's the bed? I'm right up at the top here. So yeah, go to sleep. Uh, what's George doing? George is actually in a pretty good state. Ah, uh, he needs. Uh, I was going to say he needs a potty, but it's a potty here already. 
So how about we have Rodney, Potty Train, George. What's happening with the dogs? So we have Leander down here. With well, the dogs. There's only one dog. Leander is eating. And then Patrick still has his cone on. Pet obsessions. Like almost all pets, Patrick would get inexplicit inexplicably obsessed about things around the house. Keep an eye on your fairy companions to discover their unique interests. So I'm not sure what he was looking at at that point. Uh, but yeah, there was something that he became obsessed with. Roddy is training George how to use the potty, which is going to be very useful because, well, everyone needs to use the potty. And George has acquired the potty skill. Uh, let's have a look at George's skills. George is one or two in everything, but as I know from Ruby, uh, Rodney's sister, and her family, those skills can go up really quite quickly. But yeah, that, this is taking a little while, isn't it? What's the ender up to? He must have been going up the stairs. Here he is. He's come to say hello. That's cool. Oh, and yes, we still need to clean up that mess outside on the hallway. Unfortunately, they don't have very much money, so they can't afford to get a maid, so they have to do all their cleaning at the moment. I'm just going to have a look across the street. What's happening in Ruby's house? Who knows? Well, if you watch an Angel and an Alien Let's Play, then you will know. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know at the moment because I'm not there at the moment. <laughs> but I think it was, since it's Tuesday, uh, probably not much is happening. They're probably sleeping. But yeah, we need to get little George to bed because it's quite late. He's taking a little while on that potty, isn't he? Oh, look. He was already going to make a mess. This is not good. Hang on, let's look at his character traits. Yeah, we've got to watch the manners and responsibility because I've got, I've got a mod installed that will make him max out in the negative side quite quickly if you don't look after that. And I don't want that to happen because, you know, the place will be a bit of a mess. What's wrong, Leander? Oh, he wants to play, does he? Well, unfortunately, it's Tyree who's more of the dog person. Uh, Rodney's more of a free spirit. <laughs> so, yeah, you're not going to go and make a mess. Okay, good. He's not making a mess. That's good. Let's clean these up because otherwise I'm going to get I'm going to get annoyed having them there. <laughs> and then let's get him to bed. Read George to sleep. Sounds good. And Leander and Patrick are kind of playing around in this bedroom. And this is the place where I've put Rodney's coffin. So it's basically Rodney's bedroom. And there's also a bit of a gym thingy for, <laughs> for them to work out on. But yeah, upstairs in the bedroom, there is space for um, Rodney to join Tyree, but unfortunately... Rodney doesn't get very much uh, relaxation from sleeping in a normal bed, so he has to have a coffin. Oh look. George is playing around with his little tablet thingy. What is he actually doing? He's playing Sim Shape. That's quite cute. But yeah, it's bedtime now, unfortunately. Looks like uh, Rodney enjoyed the plasma that he had from the mailman. Okay, so he does his little vampire thing right in front of his son. 
That's scary. What's wrong with you, Leander? And wants to play, I guess. So Leander is loyal and likes staying close to his owner. Right, let's uh, do some hibernation. Actually, I don't know which one I'm supposed to do. I'll go with the slumber. Right, so they're all sleeping. Okay, so it looks like Tyree has to get up and get to work, so let's get him to the loo and he can take a speedy shower and uh, yeah, get him downstairs to make some breakfast. How about fruit salad? Sounds good. Although he's probably the only one that's going to be eating it in the house. And oh look, Rodney's already awake. Let's get him dressed. Where is it? Outfits, change outfit. Here we go. Looks like he was about to do some uh, painting. His hygiene's a bit low as well. Let's uh, give him a bath. Very inspired at the moment. What's wrong, Leander? <laughs> Probably wants to go on a walk or something. Uh, but let's find out what's wrong. What's Tyree doing? Tyree's coming down the stairs. Yep. And going down to make his fruit salad. Exciting, it's so exciting. So yeah, that tree isn't actually coming through the wall. There is uh, a chimney there. But yeah, it looks a bit weird. I might move that uh, in between episodes. So yeah, there's, it's a pretty slow start, I'd say, to the Let's Play, but it's going to pick up, I'm pretty sure, um, as things develop more. Uh, okay, so there's some large poop there. Let's throw it away, because that's just gross. Leander's looking sad. A hug or a treat might cheer him up. So yeah, he needs to go to work on his own. Hopefully he will eat before he goes. So he needs a hug. Um, right. Pet care. Nope. Friendly. Let's play. Let's see how that works. So how's Tyree going? Tyree's still making his fruit salad. Will he have enough time to eat it before he has to go? We shall see. Yes, he looks like he's going to. That's good. And uh, George is still s happily sleeping away. But yeah, let's get him a bowl as well. So grab a serving for George. Yes. 
So I just completely dismissed it, but it says Rodney just became friends with Leander, which is quite nice. What's wrong, Patrick? Which I'll find out soon, hopefully. He's probably tired of having his cone on. Actually, let's remove the cone first. Okay, he might not have uh, a pet, uh, you know, a... He might not have a loo for cats, so we'll have to place one somewhere. Okay, so there is a cat loo now. <laughs> hopefully that will uh, make... Patrick happier? Well, let's just check what's wrong. What does it say up here? Patrick is hungry. Don't forget to fill up a bowl of pet food for him. Well, there is some downstairs, so it should be okay. But I don't know if they demand their own pet bowls. Uh, hopefully not. But yeah, let's call him to eat. And uh, he needs to go and get some food for George as well. Jeruk, Ispa. This vampiric running really, really helps. <laughs> you don't have to wait for them to walk around. You know, they can be really slow. There we go, we're already upstairs. So I don't know where he left it. Did he give it straight to him? Yes, he did. So yeah, you can eat that, can't you, George? Good boy. Look, George is a charmer. These toddlers love to socialize. They earn communication skill faster and don't suffer stranger danger from strangers. They can share the love with other sims. Personality trait. Right. Let's have a chat to him. Brighten the day, his day. Maybe tell him a bit of a story. Looks like George is getting all the food he needs. Oh, well, that's happening. I just want to have a look out on the neighborhood to see if I can see anyone walking by. Just because I'm curious to see who walks by. I can't see anyone. The whole place is deserted. Oh, look. Who's that? It looks like Oliver from yesterday in the vet clinic. Yep, that's Oliver. Who else do we have around here? Anyone else? Who's this chap? Okay, Tanner Stewart. Uh, another resident of Brindleton Bay. I can't see anyone else right now, but you know, I am zooming around quite fast. Look, Mayor Whiskers. <laughs> He's one of the default uh, strays in the game. I can't see anyone else right now. Let's get back to the action. Uh, I left it unpaused. I mean, I left it paused, so nothing's really happened. In fact, nothing has happened. No, I don't actually. I don't want to do that. But thanks for asking me. Okay, so he needs to go to work, doesn't he? So, let's. Let's click on Owned Business and Travel to Venue. Okay, so George has been sent to daycare, which is good. And uh, Rodney is now at work, ready to do some work. And just checking out the buffs he's got. So he's got kind of a cute buff from playing with George. And... Uh, Quality family time has made him feel loved, and he's happy because he's a morning sim. And he had a pleasant conversation. 
He's burning in the sun, that's not good. And he's feeling inspired. But he's only 19 minutes left of that, so... He's not going to be doing anything with that inspiration, unfortunately. But yeah, let's get him in here. Ah, I don't know what we can do. Let's make him uh, craft something. So, how about some treats? Wellness treat sounds good. I've got no idea what these treats are like, but this is going to also level up his uh, his skill as well. So that's going to be useful. Just watching the progress down there. It should be kind of cool if uh, Leander had joined him at work for the day. Maybe next time we can bring Leander in as well. That'd be quite cool. Okay, so he's finished making his wellness treat. Let's see if we can uh, stick it in the vendor over here. Well, it looks like it went in. Yep, just one in there. Maybe he can sell that. And he should make some other stuff to put in there as well at some point. But let's open up the clinic, see if we can get a patient before we have to end the episode. So it's now open. So I imagine Rosa will turn up soon, especially if it's unpaused. <laughs> so yeah, here's Rosa. And uh, let's get Ronnie into his vet uniform. Is she going to go to sleep again? <laughs> yeah, she is. What is wrong with that? <laughs> with that? I've got no idea. That's really weird. Let's wake her up. I wonder if we can like tell her off. See if we can maybe get us some training or something. Ah, okay. Let's make a not treat patients for now. Because I want to treat the patients. And now let's check up on her. She doesn't feel appreciated. But they're not complaining, so that's okay. Um, so what have we got here? We have Rodney's brother. <laughs> so Rodney's brother, Maxime, has come in and brought in their cat, which is Beryl. And if you've been watching my Angel and Alien Let's Play, you'll know Beryl used to be their cat, but uh, she's now been adopted by uh, Rodney's parents and uh, Maxime, Rodney and Ruby's brother. So uh, that's kind of cool. Let's uh, greet him and uh, check out what's wrong with Beryl. Hopefully it's nothing too serious. I've never seen Beryl acting like this before. I hoped it would go away, but it's only gotten worse. Please see what you can do. Sure thing. This is Beryl. We love Beryl very much. We want to make sure she's okay. Okay, so just zoom over here. I have to wait for Beryl to slowly come along and join him. So I'm just curious about the icon above Maxim's head. I don't know if that means that he feels like he's been waiting for too long or something. We shall see. And I see uh, another customer coming in outside. Right, so first of all, no stress, that's good. Let's do a skin fur inspection. Extreme lethargy, so very tired basically. Let's um, listen to her breathing. And who have we got over here? We have 
Annika Woodward, I think is the sister of Gina who we saw the other day, and Annika's cat is called Sydney. So, uh, Beryl has a sluggish heartbeat and something else that we don't know about yet. So let's uh, let's listen to. No, we already know about her heart. Let's take a temperature. And uh, we've got to watch that stress level. So we don't know what it is yet, but let's at least calm her down. I mean, a screenshot here because uh, you can see his teeth quite well, and that would be quite good for um, advertising purposes. Right. So I'm not sure why Max seems thinking about uh, fire. Okay, the wait times here were short and sweet. Okay, so he likes that. Okay, so Beryl's calm again. Let's do some more examination. Let's do an eye exam. Okay, so she has an inflamed cuteness gland, which just doesn't sound good. So uh, she has a woozy kitis. Oh, sorry, woozy kitis. If, if only I could read woozy kitty itis. Okay, so let's give her a treatment. She needs to be administered a shot. Eudaimonia concentrate. So at some point soon, hopefully, Ronnie will actually give her the treatment. <laughs> Are you gonna do it? Hmm, very strange. What if we need to stop that? Hmm. Come on, you can do it. Okay, I'll try clicking that out and see if that helps, but I don't think it will. Okay, so I'm not sure what went wrong there, but something went wrong. And uh, now hopefully Rodney will be able to give her a shot to get rid of her woozy kittyitis. Here we go, finally, like about an hour later, and she's okay. Okay, I think that's enough of today's episode. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll come back for another episode. Take care, and goodbye.